So in this video, we'll be cutting two big holes in the roof and we'll have ourselves a go at fitting a MaxFan Deluxe and Fiamma roof vent. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out this little channel of ours and in this video what we're going to be doing is installing two roof lights to the van and we've picked, we've picked ourselves up a Fiam event and a Max Van Deluxe. Now if you pay close attention to our video titles, yes it does say that this is a budget camper van conversion so you're probably asking yourselves a question then, why have you bought a Max Van Deluxe? Simple answer to that is as far as we're aware they're the best roof lights available on the market the volume of air that they will shift in a, a van are, well, it's second to none. And of course, we've got Merlin, we've got the dog. We want to make sure he's comfortable and coupled with good insulation. That bad boy there should keep the van at a nice temperature. So just like the windows, this was definitely one job that I didn't want to go messing up. So I had a good read of the instruction manuals for them. And the Max Fan one tells me that we need a hole cutting out that's 400mm square and the Fiamma 390mm. So with that in mind, what I did was I've made a couple of templates. And I've taken those templates and I've fitted them over the actual units themselves just to make absolutely certain that everything is in order. So now what I can do is I can transfer them to the van. And... Both of these units need an internal frame making up for them because, if I remember correctly, the Max Fan has it needs a frame in of between I, I want to say 25mm to 90mm, and the Fiamma a 30mm to 50mm in depth frame. So I bought some 34mm square timber. And that's where I'm going to make the framing out of. In order to make sure that we miss the structural support, we taped our template to the inside of the van, just clear of the strut, and marked out the four corners. We then drilled out the four corners, so once we clambered up on top of the van, we could see exactly where the Max Van Deluxe was going to sit. So you can see there, that's our four holes. And if we put the template over the top of them, of course, it doesn't aligned perfectly they just sit inside because when I drilled through I I literally drilled inside the, the template that I marked out just so I can mark it out more accurately from above so what I'm going to do now is mark this out with a pencil in the exact position in the exact perfect position it needs to be to cut it out I'll do the same with the one at the front of the van and then we'll go on with a jigsaw There's the hole at the front marked out. Everything's been double, if not triple checked. And there's the, the one at the back. Again, everything's been double checked, triple checked, make sure absolutely everything's square and basically centered perfectly on the van. So there we have it guys, a couple of bin liners taped to the ceiling, just to collect all the bits of swarf. The last thing we want is tiny metal filings ending up all over the, the floor of the van and everywhere else, potentially causing rust issues later on down the line. So I drilled out the four corners of the template to accommodate the jigsaw and then taped off the surrounding area so while the jigsaw was doing its thing it wouldn't mark the paintwork around it. There we have it guys, that's two holes in the roof. Fingers crossed they're the right size, they should be. I mean, I've triple checked, quadruple checked before I made a single cut. So yeah, they should be all right. But what I'm gonna do now is, there's a couple of rough edges up there, so I'm just tidy them up with a file. 
and then what I'll do is I'll dry fit the roof lights just to make absolutely certain that, that everything's fine and then I'll, I'll, I'll get some of my paint out that I painted the van with that uh, Rust-Oleum combi colour and I'm just gonna touch up the bare metal just make sure everything's sealed so yeah it's all watertight I dry fitted both roof vents just to make sure that the holes cut were perfectly sized and wouldn't cause any issues. Cross your fingers for me. And how about the Max fan? I just covered up any of the bare metal with the Rust-Oleum combi colour. And as is customary with any hole cut in the roof of a van, you have to have your picture taken. So that's the bare edges of metal all covered up now with paint so I'm gonna have to wait a bit for that to dry but whilst I'm waiting for that I can crack on with actually making the wooden frames that the roof light's gonna screw into. So cutting the wood down for the frames I just followed the internal dimensions of the roof vents but gave myself another extra mil or two just to give me a bit of wiggle room when it came to fitting them. Might have saw out of action, I had to resort to using a little hacksaw. Now, you've seen the size of my arms, I'm sure a little workout's not going to do them any harm. With the wood cut to size, I drilled some pilot holes for the screws. I then applied a blob of stick saw to the end of it and screwed them together. A million voices cried out, why no Sikaflex? And the simple answer is, stick saw, it's pretty much the same stuff and it costs half the price. I ran a bead of stick saw all around the frame. The supervisor then made an appearance to check out the quality of my work. With their approval, I then set about sticking the frame to the roof of the van and used some clamps just to hold it in place while the adhesive set. I then went to work shaping the second frame to fit the body of the van using a cheap contour gauge that I picked up from Amazon made life so much more easier I'm sure it'll be coming in useful elsewhere in the build Using a jigsaw and multi-saw made short work of reshaping the frame to fit the van. It was then just a case of rinse and repeat in the process from the first frame. Some alcohol wipes made sure that the areas surrounding the holes were nice and clean. As the Fiam event would be fitted to a nice flat surface, I just laid down one layer of mastic tape. Yeah. Ran a bead of sticks all around the edge of the unit and laid it in place on the roof of the van. I then pre-drilled all of the holes for the screws. Now the Max Fan Deluxe, that comes that actually comes with screws, but the Fiam event doesn't. So I just went out and bought the same pan head screws for the Fiam event that the Max Fan Deluxe used. Everything was then just screwed into place. Yeah. 
out came the trusty stick saw again and I ran a bead of the adhesive around the edge of the unit and then covered the heads of the screws just to make sure that everything was watertight. That's one roof end down. Now because of the ribs on the rear of the van, I had to build up the surrounding area. I built up the low areas using layers of mastic sealing strip before running one final strip along the complete edge of the hole. Then just as with the Fiamma vent, it was just a simple case of running a bead of stick saw along the edge of the unit and sticking it in place. I then went down into the van and made sure that everything was perfectly in line from inside. And then again, just drill some pilot holes and screw in the screws. And finally, run some sealant around the edge of it and over the heads of the screws just to make sure that everything's watertight. Now there appears to be two camps when it comes to applying the sealant, at least from what I can see online. A lot of the European videos that I've seen tend to follow a nice light and tidy finish, whereas a lot of the American ones that I've seen, they apply the sealant to the roof like, like they're icing a cake. I'm not saying either or is wrong, it's just an observation but I think my application is somewhere in the middle between the two. One thing that's probably worth me mentioning to you guys, and I haven't seen this anywhere else in any instructional video that I've seen, the screw holes on the actual Max Fan unit wouldn't align perfectly with the holes on the um, receiving roof flange. I mean, in my instances, the holes were about 5mm off, and I was a bit concerned about applying any more pressure onto the actual unit, trying to force it down, because I was worried it's plastic, I was worried that it might break and using the small screwdriver to help align the two holes together it made my life so much easier so if you've got the same issue fitting yours bear it in mind it might, it might work for you too and there we are that's the job complete Right, so if we take a look at the inside of the van, really pleased with those. Obviously, that's the Max fan at the back. It looks obviously we haven't put the internal fascia in, but you can see really, really happy with that. Really pleased. You, you can see how snug that frame is to the inside of the the van. Yeah, really pleased with that. And if we take a look at the Fiamma. Just as good, looking pretty. Obviously you've got your little handle there to uh, open and close it. Yeah. Yeah, that couldn't have gone any better, I don't think. So there we have it guys, that's the roof lights finally in. And along with the windows, those are the two jobs that I really wasn't looking forward to tackling. At the end of the day, who likes cutting big holes in the side of the vans? Not me, I've never done it before, it was stressful. But on the whole, pardon the pun, they went in relatively straightforward. But anyway, what's left to do externally? So next, I want to size up a solar panel for the roof. And now that the roof lights are in, I can do that. 
The only other thing for the roof is I want to fit a MiFi antenna. Now I've got one in mind, but I want to do a little bit more research just to make sure that it's the absolute perfect one for us. And along with those two things, the only other thing that we need to do externally is paint the trim and the bumpers. On this particular model, they're grey and I want them to be black, so that'll be something that I'll tackle in the very near future. And it goes without saying that I need to give it another two, three coats of paint, but that's not high on the list of priorities. That can be done whenever it's, it's not important. And finally, finally, we can start on the exciting stuff, or at least I think it's the exciting stuff. We can start on the interior and we can crack on with turning this panel van into a tiny little home on wheels that's personal and yeah, it's got our flavor on it. And the only other thing for me to say, I guess, is thank you so much for swinging by and checking out this teeny tiny little channel of ours. Really do appreciate it. Um, in the last two or three videos, we seem to have had quite a bit of traction and we really do appreciate your support. Anyway, until next time, guys, take it easy, stay safe, and we'll hopefully see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, then please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more and you haven't done so already, then please consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell down below so you know exactly when we put up a new video. And until next time guys, take it easy, stay safe and we'll see you in the next video.